to be honest, this is not really one bit shocking. Uh, the fact that the love of money is putting Disney down the drain in terms of their uh, how many guests they're getting, and you know, well, they still have pretty big business. Just this love of money, this insanely, you know, everyone says the magic is gone. Yeah, it kind of is because it's insanely overpriced now. You know, but you see, this is what happens when you pander to woke liberal SJW type ideology instead of actually, you know, being a family friendly, you know, uh, vacation spot for everybody to go to. That's that's the truth of the matter. But this is uh, on Inside the Magic. It says guests have written off Disney World as good. Sorry, uh, guests have written off Disney World for good as they flock to a surprising new vacation spot. Yeah. Not surprising one bit, but that's just a blunt, brutal reality. When you know the the magic is insanely overpriced, yeah, the average person can't really, the average person that would normally go to Disney World can't really afford that. So that's just the reality when you try to pander, when you're essentially guided by the love of money. I'll put it that way. You know, five, because it's First Timothy six verse uh, ten, I believe it is. Love of money is the root of all evil. But it says in the article, it's no secret that Walt Disney World prices have skyrocketed, skyrocketed across the board. There have been lifts in food. Sorry, there have been lifts in food, merchandise, tickets, annual passes, accommodation, parking. The list goes on. And while the Disney parks in Orlando, Central Florida, are uh, still frequently busy with guests obviously spending more to continue having vacation at the resort, a new report found that others have written off the once universally beloved vacation spot for a more affordable option. Yeah, exactly. You know, because the average person doesn't just have the kind of money just to throw around willy-nilly like that at, you know, a vacation. It's, you know, it's, it is tragic, but hey, you pay into the love of money, that's just what happens. It says in the article, back in his 2019 memoir, the newly... Uh, re, yeah, reinstated CEO of the Walt Disney Company, Bob Iger, uh, uh, sorry, commented, sorry, cemented his belief that Walt Disney World should cater to families the, and the price conscious families at that. He wrote that uh, this is why at one of the Disney uh, Resort's biggest hotels, Disney Art of Animation, Animation Resort, sorry, which uh, priced only $90 per night, uh, since that cost has risen to $200, $290, essentially, $290 per night, according to a recent report. JPEG's handling of Walt, the Walt Disney Company's assets is in part what caused him to be outed, ousted from his position in November of last year. Bob Beggar's return a bit only, sort of for only the next two years, was met with instant approval from, approval from Disney fans worldwide. However, the real tell of whether Iger's views are that much different from his predecessor and successor will lie in his future decisions to address concerns of guests, and the majority of those concerns come down to costs. I mean, that's... You know, because people want to have a vacation, want to have a fun time, but, you know, they can't really afford to just empty out their bank accounts, to empty out their wallets to have a vacation. It just, you know, it doesn't work that way. And a lot of people who would love to have the vacation at Disney World, well, they can't because, you know, woke SJW liberal ideology is very money-driven at best, very money-hungry, I'll put it that way. But it says, uh, while the park reservation system has caused contention since the installation in 2020 when this, the uh, Disney re Resort reopened post-pandemic, it, it has been the steeply rising cost of the Disney World vacation that has caused the biggest backlash among casual diehard fans, in addition to things like ticket prices, uh, ticket prices, parking, the food, and the arrival of the Disney Genie Plus in a la carte individual light, uh, lighting lane section system sparked a fury that still simmers to this day. The removal of the free fast pass option at Disney World theme parks left a sour taste in many guests' mouth. Sorry, many guests' mouths. Sorry. Uh, now, what, is, what was a once complimentary option cost guests a varying amount of dollars extra per per day guest, with no real plateau in sight. Some former Disney fans rejected have rejected the resort, stating it is simply too expensive to go. Yeah, there's a reason why there's this trending, you know, saying that the magic is gone. Well, because it's kind of no longer magic, which I, you know, even that in and of itself is kind of an issue because, you know, it's kind of witchcraft, but a bit of a side issue. But when when the magic is insanely overpriced, well, it doesn't, doesn't really feel like magic anymore, does it? See, all it feels is just like, you know, overpriced, woke, liberal, SJW ideology inserted into your vacation. That's all that it is. It is tragic, but hey, it's what happens when you try to pander to the love of money, which again, the love of money is is heavily what drives this woke liberal SJW ideology. It, it's pretty much destroying, you know, just yeah, most people's childhood. I'll put it that way. So anyway, wanted to point that out. It is you know pretty amusing to see that they just don't seem to get it that you know money is often a big issue there. But anyway, they're going to keep failing to get it, and they're going to keep losing fans as a result. So anyway, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.